Pienza, a town and commune in the province of Siena, in the Val di Orsha in Tuscany, central Italy, between the towns of Montepulciano and Montalcino, is the touchstone of Renaissance urbanism. In 1996, UNESCO declared the town a World Heritage Site, and in 2004, the entire valley, the Val di Orsha, was included on the list of UNESCO's World Cultural Landscapes. History Before the village was renamed to Pienza its name was Cursignano. It is first mentioned in documents from the 9th century. Around 1300 parts of the village became property of the Piccolomini family, after Engelberto d. Hugo Piccolomini had been in theft with the fief of Montertari in Val d. Orsha by the Emperor Frederick II in 1220. In the 13th century Franciscans settled down in Cursignano, in 1405 Aeneas Silvius Piccolomini Italian, Aeneas Silvio Piccolomini, was born in Cursignano, a Renaissance humanist born into an exiled Sienese family, who later became Pope Pius II. Once he became Pope, Piccolomini had the entire village rebuilt as an ideal Renaissance town and renamed it after himself to Pienza which mean, City of Pius. Intended as a retreat from Rome, it represents the first application of humanist urban planning concepts, creating an impetus for planning that was adopted in other Italian towns and cities and eventually spread to other European centers. The rebuilding was done by Florentine architect Bernardo Gambarelli, known as Bernardo Rossellino, who may have worked with the humanist and architect Leon Battista Alberti, though there are no documents to prove it for sure. Alberti was in the employ of the Papal Curia at the time and served as an advisor to Pius. Construction started about 1459. Pope Pius II consecrated the Duomo on August 29, 1462, during his long summer visit. He included a detailed description of the structures in his commentaries, written during the last two years of his life. Main sites Palazzo Piccolomini the trapezoidal piazza is defined by four buildings. The principal residence, Palazzo Piccolomini, is on the west side. It has three stories, articulated by pilasters and entablature courses, with a twin lighted cross window set within each bay. This structure is similar to Alberti's Palazzo Ricelli in Florence and other later palaces. Noteworthy is the internal court of the palazzo. The back of the palace, to the south, is defined by loggia on all three floors that overlook an enclosed Italian Renaissance garden with giardino all. Italiana era modifications, and views into the distant landscape of the Val di Orsha and Pope Pius's beloved Mount Amiata beyond. Below this garden is a vaulted stable that had stalls for 100 horses. The Duomo the Duomo Cathedral, which dominates the center of the piazza, has a facade that is one of the earliest designed in the Renaissance manner. Though the tripartite division is conventional, the use of pilasters and of columns, standing on high dados and linked by arches, was novel for the time. The bell tower, however, has a Germanic flavor as is the layout of the Hallenkirch plan, a triple nave. Plan where the side aisles are almost as tall as the nave. Pius, before he became Pope, served many years in Germany and praised the effects of light admitted into the German hall churches in his commentary. Works of art in the Duomo include five altar paintings from the Sienese school, by Sano di Pietro, Matteo di Giovanni, Vecchietta and Giovanni di Paolo. The baptistry, dedicated as usual to San Giovanni, is located next to the apse of the church. Palazzo Vescovo Pius encouraged cardinals to build palazzi to complete the city. Palazzo Vescovo, on the third side of the piazza, was built to house the bishops who would travel to Pienza to attend the Pope. Its construction was financed by Cardinal Rodrigo Borgia, the future Pope Alexander VI, but, at the time, Vatican Vice-Chancellor. It may represent a remodeling of the old town hall of Cursignano. It is now home to the Diocesan Museum, and the Museo della Catrail. The collection includes local textile work as well as religious artifacts. Paintings include a 12th-century painted crucifix from the Abbey of San Pietro in Valor, 14th-century works by Pietro Lorenzetti, Madonna with Child, and Bartolo di Freddi, Madonna della Misericordia. 
There are also important works from the 14th and 15th centuries, including a Madonna attributed to Luca Signorelli. Palazzo Comunale Across from the church is the town hall, or Palazzo Comunale. When Corsignano was given the status of an official city, a palazzo was required that would be in keeping with the city's new urban position, though it was certainly more for show than anything else. It has a three-arched loggia on the ground floor facing the cathedral and above it is the council chamber. It also has a brick bell tower that is shorter than its counterpart at the cathedral, to symbolize the superior power of the church. The setback addition to the tower dates from 1599. It is likely that Bernardo Rossellino designed the Palazzo Comunale to be a free-standing civic mediator between the religious space before the cathedral and secular market square to its rear. The travertine well in the piazza carries the Piccolomini family crest, and was widely copied in Tuscany during the following century. The well head resembles a fluted, shallow Etruscan bowl. The flanking Corinthians support a classical entablature columns whose decorations are clearly based upon actual source materials. Other buildings Other buildings in Pienza dating from the era of Pius II include the Amanati Palace, named for Cardinal Jacopo Piccolomini Amanati, a curial row. Of three palaces, the Palazzo Geoffroy or Atrebatense belonging to Cardinal Jean Geoffroy, the Palazzo Buonconti, belonging to Vatican Treasurer Guilliforte dei Buonconti, and the Palazzo Lali constructed by Apostolic Secretary and Papal Relative Gregorio Lali, arranged along the street behind the Bishop's Palace. In the northeastern corner of Pienza is a series of 12 row houses constructed at the orders of the Pope by the Sienese building contractor Pietro Paolo da Porina. About 50 meters west of the Cathedral Piazza is the Church of San Francesco, with a gabled facade and Gothic portal. Among the buildings that survived from the old Cursignano, it is built on a pre-existing church that dated from the 8th century. The interior contains frescoes depicting the life of St. Francis, those on the walls having been painted by Cristofano di Bindocchio and Mio di Puro, 14th-century artists of the Sienese school. The Romanesque Peeve of Cursignano is located in the neighborhood. The Monastery of Santana in Camprina was founded in 1332-1334 by Bernardo Tolomei as a hermitage for the Benedictines. It was remade in the late 15th-early 16th century, and several times in the following centuries. The refectory houses frescoes by Il Sodoma, 1502-1503. Monticello the Frazione of Monticello is home to a characteristic romatorio, a series of grottos carved in the rock by hermit monks. In the same locality is the Peeve of Santi Leonardo e Cristoforo, rebuilt in the 13th century in Gothic style. The interior has frescoes from a 14th-century Sienese painter, a cyborium in the shape of a small Gothic portal and an alt-15th-century crucifix. At San Pietro in Campo are the remains of the eponymous abbey. Monticello is the subject of the documentary Spedicolo. References Sources Adams, Nicholas, May 1985. The Acquisition of Pienza, 1459-1464. Journal of the Society of Architectural Historians. 44 99-110. Adams, Nicholas, 1989. The Construction of Pienza, 1459-1464, and the Consequences of Renovatio. In Zimmerman, Susan, Weissman, Ronald. Urban Life in the Renaissance. Newark, Univ. of Delaware Press. pp. 50-79. Carly, Enzo, 1966. Pienza, La Città di Pio II. Rome, Editalia. Cataldi, Giancarlo, Formici, Fausto, 2007. Pienza Forma Urbis. Florence, Ion Edizioni. Charles, Mac, 2012. Beyond the Monumental, the Semiotics of Papal Authority in Renaissance Pienza. Southeastern College Art Conference Review, 16, 124-50.
Mack, Charles 1987. Pienza, The Creation of a Renaissance City. Ithaca, Cornell University Press. Mayernick, David 2003. Timeless Cities, An Architect's Reflections on Renaissance Italy. Boulder, Colorado, Westview Press. Piccolomini, Aeneas Silvius 1959. Gabel, Leona, ed. Memoirs of a Renaissance Pope. Translated by Gregg, Florence. New York, Capricorn Books. Pieper, Jan 1997. Pienza, Der Entwurf einer Humanistischen Weltansicht. Stuttgart, Axel Menges Smith, Christine 1992. Architecture in the Culture of Early Humanism, Ethics, Aesthetics, and Eloquence, 1400-1470. Oxford, Oxford University Press. Tonisman, Andreas 2013, first published 1990. Pienza, Statbo und Humanismus, in German, 3rd ed. Munich, Kermer. ISBN 978-3-8031-2717-4. External links Piazza Pio II, 